What up, YouTube? Shay back with another episode of The Last of Us Part 1 for you. Last episode, we got to Tommy's. Ellie and Joel had a bit of a heart-to-heart. -heart. Joel was a bit of an asshole. Ended up apologizing, apologizing in his own Joel-type way. And now Ellie and Joel are at uh, University of Eastern Colorado looking for the fireflies and their medical lab. I am going to go check out up here. A lot to look around here. Another comic? No, no, another uh, med pack upgrade. Now I definitely need to upgrade my maximum health. I think I am very close to being able to do so. Still no tool level upgrade. Getting a bunch of tools or uh, spare parts, so. If that's everything. Let me check what my pills are at. 90. Very close. Go there. And nothing down here. So that is a building we're going to. I'm going to continue searching around. See if there's anything on the other side. Right, come on. That was kind of awesome. First time seeing a monkey? First time seeing a monkey. Get him. Doesn't look like it. Hey, look, fireflies. I see it. This is good. First sign of fireflies. Get up on the roof, but I'm gonna try Let's just go. to see if there's anything up there. <clears throat> uh, 
Okay, I can't get up there. Thought she could. Let's go back. Gotta give it a go here. Nope, can't get up there either. Scoot you on back. Try that gate. There it is. One sec, Ellie. This won't budge. What am I looking at? Oh, there's a generator over there. So I gotta find a way to get across. You gonna get on, Ellie? No? That tells me, oh, I can duck underneath here, duh. You too. Eastern Colorado campus with circled areas and handwriting on it. Top getting slammed here. Must beef up barricades. Bottom. Infected slipping through here. Need to reinforce all stadium and bookstore exits. anyone I need to worry about but These are the dorms. Grody bathrooms. All right, maximum health upgrade. And now we have a decision, listen mode or healing speed. January 18, nine goddamn months of waiting and still nothing. No word from anyone. Found some additional cans of food in the dining commons, but they won't last. Had an incident at the Eastern Hall barricade, but everything's still secure. January 31, I caught a glimpse of, gr of a group of those things running around. I saw one that looked like Heather. Maybe it was Heather. Fuck. February 10. Since batteries are running short, they're now only listening to their radio once a night. I gave up on that since the last broadcast. It's been three fucking months, why do they bother? 
February 25th. Cheryl was smoking out yesterday. She needed it. She got pissed when I threw out her out her stash. She doesn't get it. We need to keep a clear head here. Someone's going to have to go into town and get more supplies. It's probably going to be me. I wonder so how long are, you held out. Yeah. These are students that just kind of hold up here. Things beyond don't turn. Taking the byways. 34 days. Hmm. Um. Pretty nice telescope. spores <laughs> wonder if these are stalkers looks like I have to go down bunch of clickers I don't think I have a brick I don't have anything I can throw This might be a time for the bow. Kill the bloater.
pretty sure that's a bloater over there. And it looks like I got one more of these guys. Oh, I fucking woke him up. don't have a melee weapon. was just dropped by one of the infected Joe Warren
There's our alley. It looks like we are safe now. U.S. military rec recalls search effort, with the latest WHO report estimating that as much as 60% of the world's population is either dead or infected by the CBI pandemic. The United States military has released a statement that they're recalling all of their search efforts. Regions up to 10 miles from each quarantine zone's perimeter will remain under patrol for citizens attempting to enter, but no further effort will be made to evacuate those potentially trapped in hard-to-reach areas. Attorney General Arthur Monroe made this clear in a letter. Found this in town. What the fuck? No one's coming? Yeah, that would be pretty frightening. <laughs> Those are literally pills. Only they're not. I've only watched this part of the game once, I think. I think it's really cool. Kind of the the side story about what happened at the university. Can I break these windows? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Are you okay? What happened in there? More infected. I'm fine. to plug it in I'm assuming I'm a little bit confused you want to tell me what I'm supposed to do Ellie to the lab. Well, Bill used them as a form of defense. Maybe they're doing the same. Yeah, I could see that. Oh, what is that? <clears throat> Can 
Do I need to craft anything? I'm gonna hold off. Scooch. Well, no I'd... No, nothing. Yeah, I'd expect to see someone by now. Let's get inside. Well, I had assumed that I would pick up another tool level upgrade. I wonder if I can get up there. It's like I can. But I should have used that workbench when I had the chance, I you guess. You ever been to one of these? What, university? Yeah. <laughs> no, not as a student, at least. Why not? Uh, I had Sarah when I was pretty young. Hmm. Were you married? For a while. What happened? <laughs> okay. Too much. Too much. Maybe I can't get up there. There's a building we need to get to, huh? <laughs> a lot of empty supply tents. Are we ever going to find living fireflies? We better. Here, Griggs. Scoot your own back. Get him. Let's go. 
Hey, what about over there? Over where? Yeah. Are you just telling me to speed up my uh, my search here, Ellie? Can I move this? No. Take up. We're getting up there. <clears throat> On the truck. Nope, get down. Yeah, belly. That wasn't an easy climb. All right, we're inside. Come on, kiddo, give me your hand. There you go. Thanks. Let's look around. I think that might be the first time we called her kiddo. Nice if I could get a melee weapon. Another workbench. <clears throat> Come on, there's got to be a tool here. Give me a tool.
What do I have for spare parts? What can All I right. do? And 60%, that's pretty nice. I got 244. I think the range is what I want on that. Oof, 100%. Damage is pretty nice too. That requires two a level five. Shotgun capacity? No, I don't need that. Still can't do anything with that. It only costs 20. Might as well. Cost twenty. What does the fire rate cost? Is it thirty or forty? Forty. I think I'm just holding at this point for a higher tool level. And then do a do whole nicely. bunch of upgrades with my higher tool level. down until we figure out what's going on. We'll come back over there. Don't worry, Elliot. Just need to continue looking down this floor. There's a door right there. <laughs> there you go. And there's our tools. All right. I'm gonna make a shiv. There were some scissors back there too that we couldn't pick up. Ooh, 50 tool or spare parts, that's not bad. This was a very good shiv. And just a tool upgrade alone would have been worth it, but. And a skill upgrade. Molotov's explosion radius is now two times wider. Nice.
Head back to that tool bench. Pick up those scissors that we couldn't pick up before. Speed, no. Recoil, no. Plus one. It's tempting. I'm going to do one capacity on that. I think we're going to do piercing on it as well. Oh, that cost 75 tools. We're doing it though. Or 75 spare parts. I keep calling the spare parts tools. You know what I mean. Alright. Hunting rifle. Up the power on this bad boy. Fifty percent damage. Five percent magnification. Sounds pretty good. Beefy. It's at five right now, I think. I think that's pretty good. Get that to 5-2, that seems like a pretty good number. Alright. Yeah. That looks good. It certainly does. Alright, what do we got over here, Ellie? Been waiting patiently for me?
Nothing useful. Ain't nothing here but a bunch of medical mumbo jumbo. I don't get it. Looks like they all just packed up and left in a hurry. Maybe not all of them. Stay close. What are you doing, Ellie? I think I want to go back and look over here first. Bodies could be in, uh, turned to infected, right? Pretty gnarly.
Never noticed that before. Yeah. No fireflies either. Well, maybe in all that research, they turn into fucking monkeys. Just keep searching, we'll find something. Another recording. That's four pallets of lab equipment all packed up and ready to go. Now, the big question is, what do we do with all you guys? They say the tainted batch needs to be put down. You know what I say? I say screw that. Who made a bigger sacrifice than you, right? If anyone deserves to run free out there. Say easy. Stop. Glad we didn't mess with them monkeys. He didn't say where they went. I know. Let's just keep looking. So apparently the monkeys can be carriers, but they can't get turned. I think is the way I'm understanding this. Oop. Need to look at that. Hickman. Sadie Hickman. Sadie Pearl Hickman. crafting I think we're doing okay still don't have a melee weapon kind of nice to have Shit. I'm dead. Or I will be soon. Got me some time to reflect. Been years that felt like we were fucking thing was a giant waste of time. I'm not gonna do this anymore. Come on. Looking for the others. They've all returned to St. Mary's Hospital in Salt Lake City. You'll find them there. Still trying to save the world. <laughs> Good luck with that. Do you know where that is? I know the city. Is it far? It ain't close. I mean, on horseback. What? The fireflies? Get down! Oh. <gasps> the fuck are these guys? It don't matter. We know where to go. Let's get the hell out of here. Ah! <laughs> 
What the hell? That that came out of nowhere. I was talking about it'd be nice to have a melee weapon. Outsider. Oh my god. There's a bunch of food that I didn't pick up earlier. I'd really like to get it now.
gonna fall for that. Like this asshole. Ellie. Those were my friends who killed him. Come on out. You want to do this the hard way? We gotta get you out of here. Come on. There you 
Here you go. Fuck. Oh, shit! Come on. Just get the horse. All right. Can you get on? I think we're safe. Joel? Joel? Shit. Joel! Here. Oh, get up, get up, get up. You gotta tell me what to do. You gotta get up! She wasn't lying, it was just that she was pretty good with that thing. Oh. This won't last very long. You'll just startle it. Where'd you go? And we play as Ellie. There you are. I think we gotta get up behind it. Be very careful not to step on twigs, apparently. Still too far. Shit. Easy. Easy. Got you. There you are.
Oh, that weapon sways up hardcore with her. Gotcha. Crap, he's fast. I love how detailed her backpack is. I've been crawling around for no reason, I think. Lumber mill. Oh, great. Everything's cool. This place is not creepy at all. Oh, a comic book. Awesome. Four, uncertainty. Mankind's trillions have become billions. Would the traveler's technology eclipse the most optimistic projections of human advancement over the next 500 years? And humanity's feeble resistance has all but crumbled. Having barely survived the crash of the Kobayashi, Daniela and Captain Ryan face an impending menace on the surface of Titan. So the travelers maybe are like the the virus. And Daniela and Captain Ryan are Ellie and Joel. If we're working in analogy. So I can craft stuff if I have resources. Switchblade, nice. Walkman. That is old school as shit. Or Alley Heart. The tape on it. Sam's a robot. Note from mom. I'm trying to make you proud. Ellie, I'm going to share a secret with you. I'm not a big fan of kids and I hate babies. And yet I'm staring at you and I'm just awestruck. You're not even a day old and holding you is the most incredible thing I've done in my life. A life that is about to get cut a little short. Marlene will look after you. There's no one in this world I trust more than her. When the time comes, she'll tell you all about me. Don't give her too much of a hard time. 
Try not to be as stubborn as me. I'm not going to lie, this is a pretty messed up world. It won't be easy. The thing you always have to remember is that life is worth living. Find your purpose and fight for it. I see so much strength in you. I know you'll turn out to be the woman you're meant to be. Forever your loving mother, Anna. Make me proud, Ellie. So this goes back to a lot of things, and it goes forward to a lot of things. I think this letter does a lot of work in explaining Ellie's state of mind. Life is worth living. I think that's really important. And we'll, I will definitely be coming back to that. The fact that her mom... She carries this note with her, right? Like... You have to think about how many times she's read this. How much she's poured over every word of it. It's her only connection to her mother. She never knew her mom. Right? She died when she was a little baby. She died when Ellie was a little baby. So this is the only thing she knows about her. Maybe Marlene has told her a few things, but... I think later on in the game, you know, that's not, not true. This Ellie has a one connection to her parents, to her mother, and this is it. So, you know, this letter means a lot to her. Life is worth living. That's something I think about a lot at the end of the second game. Find your purpose and fight for it something I think about a lot at the end of this game I know you'll turn out to be the woman you're meant to be a really strong sense of destiny and fate make me proud Ellie and you know she talks to Joel I won't let you down when she got into the truck to drive out of uh, Bill's place. She talks about how when she was with Henry, she even killed a few clippers. You, clickers, you would have been proud of me, Joel. This is something that she holds in her heart very dearly, I think. No pun intended. Volume 2 by Will Livingston. What did the triangle say to the circle? You're pointless. What did the cannibal get when he showed up at the party? Late. A cold shoulder. I'm not going to read these because... Yeah. To get to the other side. Another book. Pump book. We've seen some of these. Why did the Scarecrow get a promotion? Because he was outstanding in his field. <laughs> and a third on book. We've seen this one. What did the mermaid wear to her math class in algebra? I should have given this to you when I had the chance. You didn't want it, kid. All right. Oh. Oh. 
Who's there? Come out! Hello? We just want to talk. Any sudden moves and I put one right between your eyes. Ditto for Buddy Boy over there. What do you want? Um, name's David. This here's my friend James. But from a larger group. Women, children. They're all very, very hungry. So am I. Women and children. All very hungry too. Clever girl. Well, uh, maybe we could uh, trade you for some of that meat there. What do you need? Weapons, ammo, clothes. Medicine. Do you have any antibiotics? We do. Back at the camp. You're welcome to follow us. I'm back not following you anywhere. Buddy boy can go get it. He comes back with what I need. The deer is all yours. Anyone else shows up. You put one right between my eyes. That's right. Two bottles of the penicillin in a syringe. Make it fast. Go on. I'll take that rifle. Of course. Back up. Probably gonna be a while. You, uh, mind if we take some shelter from the cold? Bring him with us. I love that shot of them standing there in the snow, just facing off against each other. <laughs> Ellie's showing no sign that she's relenting. <laughs> Happy to stand yeah. as long as it takes. You really shouldn't be out here all on your own. I don't like company. I see. What's your name? Why? Look, I understand it's not easy to trust a couple of strangers. Whoever's heard, you clearly care about them. I'm sure it's gonna be just fine. We'll see. Gun? Sorry. Hey, I'd really like my rifle back now. No, you have your pistol. Hope you know how to use that thing. I've had some practice. And no matter right. what, we have to keep them out. Let's hope they don't find you. Cover the windows. Okay. Tricky. Oh, Lord, there's a whole lot of them coming at us. Yeah, I see him. <laughs> Keep it up, kid. <laughs> Pull the 
good shot there, huh? Oh, Lord, there's a whole lot of them coming at us. Yeah, I see them. Nice shot, kid. Like, I'm out of ammo. I don't know what to do. Oh, Lord. There's a whole lot of them coming at us. Yeah, I see them. Nice shot, kid. Nice going, kid. Block their path. Cover the stairs. Block their path. Cover the stairs. Follow me through here. Okay. Do you know where you're going? I never set foot in this place. Oh, great. Lucky break. It's clear. This way. Right behind you. How are you holding up? You don't need to worry about me. All right. Stay close. Him. Hey, kid, you all right? I'm fine. More clickers. <laughs> Get out of there!
my craft. Doors this way. I was so close. We need to get up there. There. That ladder. Can work. All right. How do we get up there? Boost me up. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. yeah. You be quick, and you keep a lookout for those things. I know. Here, come here, boost me up. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. You be quick, and you keep a lookout for those things. I know. Fly pendant. 
Travis Kristoff. Come on, pick it up. I can make a med pack now. Suppose my blades are only good for my nail bombs, so I might as well make that. your language. Okay, old man. There's got to be a way out of here. Molotov, nice. Someone already fought those things and lost. Ah, oh, Lord. I've been looking for these boys. Doesn't matter. You grab the gear. I'm gonna look for an exit. Keep your eyes open for anything we can use. See anything? It's a dead end. How on earth did they use this building? So what do we do? We hold our ground. Is there any other choice? We die. Right. Get ready. Oh! <laughs> 
Doing fine, kid. It doesn't feel like it. Just stay focused. We'll make it. Here come more. How many of these things are there? I have no idea. Just keep at it. Ah! <sighs> 
nothing. Jesus Christ. Yeah. You know, I think we did it. Like we killed all of them? Oh, don't sound so disappointed. More like disbelief. I'll check the bridge. That was bananas. I want to do that again. Like, from the very beginning, I want to do it again. Holy moly. Okay. We're going to end the episode there. I got to go to bed. That took a little bit longer than I expected. I will be cutting out some of those attempts so that uh, you don't have to struggle bus with me through that. Playing as Ellie is a little bit different than playing as Joel. <laughs> if you get into uh, arm's reach, you're kind of screwed. Doesn't help that we were pretty limited in our weapons as well. But she did good, kid. You did good. All right, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for joining me. As always, if there are any questions, comments, constructive criticism, feedback, please leave it down in the comments below. I really do mean it when I say that. I would love to hear uh, what people are thinking, even if it's just technical stuff like your your cam was, you know, in an awkward place or your volume levels need to be adjusted here or there. That's all helpful stuff for me. So thanks again, and uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Shay out.